a Palestinian flag dominating the skyline. A students in Birmingham stage a mass walkout. Across campuses, the Israel-Hamas conflict is igniting protest and passion. I cannot stand there and just watch a genocide happen. So, so you wanted to come out and make your voice heard? Yeah, definitely. And this is about the innocent people that are dying. I understand that there are people dying on both sides and that is this is why we're here as well. We don't want any people dying. We want a ceasefire now. It's been peaceful here. Lots of people have been talking about the need for a ceasefire, supporting people who are stuck in Gaza. There have been some chants which some Jewish students say they find very offensive. Some chants have widely been labelled as anti-Semitic. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. But I don't think people understand that every single Jewish student was scared to come to campus today. From the river to the sea, in terms of you know, wiping out Israel from the map, which means wiping out Jews. Watching from a distance, I meet Ruby, president of the university's Jewish society. We've spoken to a couple of the protesters who say that when they chant things like that, they're not referring to Jewish people, yeah. but to the state of Israel. Yeah. The deep connection that most Jews have with people in Israel, regardless of the state, but people, um, I don't think people understand. How does it make you feel seeing the protests going on? When we say free Palestine, what do we actually mean? We have no issue with the cause. Um, I'm finding it quite difficult, you know, there's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone's feeling very tense. Universities admit it can be difficult having to balance the rights of those who feel offended with the rights of those accused of offending who are feeling just as tense. I'm about to try not to get emotional. <laughs> it's an emotional subject for a lot of people, isn't it's it? It's very emotional. Um, Second year student Fatiha felt she had a duty to come out and call for a ceasefire. One, two, three, four! Some of the slogans that you were chanting, a lot of Jewish students say that they find them very offensive. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. All we want is freedom. We don't want violence. We're not, we're not, we're not enforcing violence on anybody. If you say you're scared, how do you think black people feel every day when they wake up and they leave their houses? Preparing ahead for the Shabbat dinner, the Birmingham Jewish Society is one of the biggest in the country. Every Friday night we run weekly Friday night dinners. It's traditionally a time to cast aside the week's distractions, but since October the 7th it's becoming more difficult. This one in particular, if only Hitler could make a surprise. Yeah, and that entrance. was a Holocaust survivor talk. I run the Instagram for Birmingham JSOC mm -hmm. and we've had a lot of anti-Semitism. What was it like for you seeing all of these messages every day? Really distressing. I, waking up to it every day was yeah. not very pleasant, not very pleasant yeah. at all to say the least. Yeah. I actually had to go home from university for a bit because oh, really? it was all just becoming too much. Jewish organisations warn that on campuses across the country, the conflict has fuelled anti-Semitism, with some students feeling they have to hide their Jewish identity. We put their concerns to the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Leeds. A lot of Jewish students have told us that they feel physically unsafe on campus, that it's no longer a, a welcoming place. They're in a difficult moment. They, they feel upset. Um, they don't feel as if the community or the campus is particularly safe for them. Our Muslim students say and feel the same things. What are you doing to support them? Number one is we are proactively listening to them, meeting with them. We have a number of mental health and academic support services. We live in a world and the world walks on our campus. The government has written to universities ordering them to take swift action against threats to Jewish students, but face criticism for failing to make specific reference to protecting Muslim students. For each rose, it represents a person who was killed in Palestine. Safia from Leeds University's Palestinian Solidarity Group says there's been a rise in Islamophobia. So you've been called a terrorist, people have been saying that about you. It's, it's Islamophobia, I think just general racism. Um, we, like, We've seen in, um, Instagram posts under things about our university telling Arab students to be deported back to where they came from. Universities say they're working to stop the conflict being played out on campuses to promote harmony, not hate.